To follow the 2010 EPA regulation, your crane is designed to comply with the Tier 4 Interim Emissions Standard. This video will give you a short overview. Inside your engine's exhaust system, three DEF conditions that trigger a reduction in power, how and where to refill diesel exhaust fluid, DEF, components of your diesel exhaust gas treatment system, different displays in various crane cabs, what happens if DEF freezes. Please refer to the serial number specific crane operator's manual for details. So, what happens in your engine's exhaust system? The diesel exhaust fluid, DEF, is sprayed into the hot exhaust manifold, where the solution reacts with the exhaust gases to convert them from toxic nitrogen oxides, NOx, to nitrogen and water vapor. In Mercedes MTU engines, the proprietary name for diesel exhaust fluid is AdBlue. These are the three conditions connected with the DEF system you need to be aware of. The first one is low-level DEF. As the level of DEF fluid in your DEF tank becomes low, a warning light on your ECOS display will start flashing. This means early engine power reduction is activated. If refilling the DEF tank is not immediately possible, you have the option to press the LIM button that will reset the system for 30 minutes. You can repeat this three times in total. At this stage, the DEF tank must be refilled or final engine power reduction will take place. Once final reduction has taken place, an MTU or Manitowoc Crane Care representative will have to reset the system. Incorrect DEF quality is the second reason that sets off the DEF warning light. That is why the DEF tank must not be topped up with water, diesel or any other fluids, as this will damage the system. Tampering with or failure of the after-treatment components is the third condition that triggers the DEF warning light. This can include the disconnection or failure of the dosing pump, NOx sensor, or any of the other components of the DEF system. These are the symbols that will indicate a problem in your DEF system. The position of the DEF tank may vary between different crane models. The DEF tank can hold up to 60 liters, depending on the model. Never add any other fluids except diesel exhaust fluid complying with ISO standard 222411 into the DEF tank. Diesel exhaust fluid is not harmful to handle, but can be corrosive to certain materials over time. Make sure to only use non-metallic clean containers not previously used for any other fluids to transport and store DEF. If diesel exhaust fluid is spilt, clean immediately. If the crane has a superstructure engine, the same procedure applies. The DEF level for the superstructure engine can be seen on the ECOS display in the superstructure cab. The exhaust treatment system consists of the following parts. The pumping unit supplies the metering unit with the required pressure to pump the DEF fluid into the exhaust system. The exhaust gas after treatment unit controls and monitors the system. The metering unit provides just the right amount of diesel exhaust fluid to the system. The sensors in the catalytic converter measure the concentration of nitrogen oxide in the exhaust gas.
When refilling the diesel tank, please note, cold weather additives in the diesel tank will interfere with the chemical reaction of the DEF fluid in the exhaust system and cause some of the errors already described. Do not put any DEF fluid into the diesel tank as this will cause major engine damage. The DEF display lights will be located in different places depending on crane model. However, the symbols will look the same. To find the location of the DEF level gauge in your crane, please refer to the operator's manual. Be aware that diesel exhaust fluid, DEF, freezes at minus 11 degrees Celsius, 12 degrees Fahrenheit. From starting the engine, the system has to be unfrozen and operational within 40 minutes using the built-in automatic DEF heating systems. If this does not happen, early level power reduction will occur after approximately 60 minutes and ultimately final level power reduction. Pressing the limb button as described before will delay power reduction. If the DEF system is not operational after 90 minutes, it will cause an error and the engine warning light will also come on. At this point, the system can only be reset by an MTU or MCC technician. To review all error and warning lights again in detail, you can request these handy reference cards from us.